Today is the day. Did we all get a good night's rest? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, we do have some spa time later, but I know that you don't want to miss out on today. Oh, spa time can wait. <laughs> awesome. Are you ready for some scuba lessons? Oh, ding dong, let's go. <laughs> Jim and Tina Marie. Hi. This is Heather, Emily, Nate, and I am Will. Great to meet you. I understand you're here to scuba dive. Oh, yes. I'm ready to get wet. It's going to be a long day, so we better get started. Okay, let's do it. I'm Jim Elliott, the founder and president of Dive Heart. Since 2001, Dive Heart has been helping children, veterans, and others with disabilities build confidence, independence, and self esteem through adaptive scuba. The thrill for me is to take somebody out of a wheelchair and have them stand up, and the first time they look down and go, oh my gosh, I'm standing up. It's amazing. Oh, they're about to put them in. One, two, three. I can tell that they've worked with other people who've had different abilities there. because they know how to move him. I know people that have dove for years who've not mastered their buoyancy, and I'm hoping that in 30 minutes we can get Nate to control buoyancy. Hold your mask down so it doesn't fall off. So on three, we're gonna pitch you in. Okay, you ready? Oh. Got this, Nate! Oh One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Get him up, right? He's going to love this. Oh, oh. <gasps> okay, I want you to go ahead and exhale all the air out of your lungs. So they're trying to figure out how much weight and air he needs. His legs are floating up. I don't know if this is going to hold up. This weight belt is too uh, wide. Okay, so right now, Jim is weighting Nate's legs so that he can move through the water in an upright position. Are we ready? We're ready. Oh, we're going down. He's in a normal mask, right? Yeah, he's not in that big face mask thing. thing. Making sure that he can actually do it. And he's upright. This has got to feel so good to him. Oh, his ears. They're trying to pop his ears, I think. Yeah, equalizing the pressure in his head is one of the skills he'll need to be able to do. Yeah. So why has diving with sharks always been on his bucket list? I think he's just excited to do stuff that others aren't willing to do. Yeah. And what everybody else thinks, people in wheelchairs can't do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so neat. So if he passes, he's going a mile out into the ocean. And sharks are out there. Hey, good job. That was oh, awesome. You were great. Mate, really great What'd job. What'd you think? That was fun. It's fun to just get down there and you're free. Yeah. Move around and up and down and... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody catch on as quickly as you. So what's the verdict, Jim? Can we go on this shark dive or what? You bet, man. This guy's ready really? for a shark dive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! All right, let's go meet some sharks. All right, Nate, are you ready for this scuba adventure? Yeah, I'm pumped. Hey, it's showtime, buddy. We got somebody really special that you're going to meet now. Oh, let's do it. Hi, my name is Cristina Zanato, and I am the mother of sharks. <laughs> a lot of people think that when we dive with sharks, we dive in a cage. But we take people out in the oceans without any protection. I want people to fall in love with sharks the same way I fell in love with them when I was a kid, and the same way for the last 30 years I've been pursuing my passion with them. Christina, how you doing? Hey, Good to Jim. see you. I'd like to introduce you to some friends. This is somebody very special here in his entourage. This is Nate. Hi, how Nate. you doing? Great Pleasure. to meet you. I've heard your story and you're such an inspiration. Thank and you. I hope you'll like what we have lined up. So if you're ready, we're ready to go. I'm ready. Let's go get wet. All right, yes. let's go. Yes. Have you ever had a bad experience with sharks? No. Actually, sharks are completely opposite of what people make them to be. The sharks are very accepting of our presence and they're very aware of us. Hold on tight. It's so so much easier to be in the water with sharks They're about to be than it is to be with any other predator in wow. the world. You've done this before? A few times. <laughs> Once or twice. Good. All right. Here we go. Uh -huh. Let's see late. Well done. All right, step one complete. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people see other people in a wheelchair, it makes them somewhat uncomfortable. How do you deal with people who see you with more limitations than you see yourself with? I try to make them feel comfortable, to treat me like I was walking, like I was anybody else. Well, we'll change disability, different ability, because we all have different abilities. With any different ability, treat them as if they're anybody else, and you'll realize that they are anybody else. If you get one thing from this episode, let it be that. 
right, guys, welcome to Shark Junction. Now, the sharks obviously are around us. So I'm gonna go in the water first. I'm gonna bring a tube with some fish in it and then wait for you to descend. Once you arrive and Jim says, yeah, we're good to go, I'm gonna come closer. The sharks will swim around me. Sometimes they'll brush you with their tail, but hands to yourself. You're not prepared, you're not trained, and you're not equipped. But I've been here doing this for 28 years. So one of the other things that happens, sometimes it's not guaranteed, I cannot guarantee animal behavior. Some of the older sharks like to come into my lap, and then if she's nice and comfortable, I'll pick her up and I'll bring her over and put it alongside you. Now, I'm gonna be at the sharp end. When the shark is in front of you, you can reach out and give it a nice, gentle little stroke. It's not guaranteed, but that is my ultimate goal for you to Thank actually you. touch a shark. Cool, <laughs> let's do it. Three days ago, I had no idea I would be in the Bahamas getting ready to jump in with a bunch of sharks. One of my lifelong dreams. Did you really think about what we're gonna do? It's kind of crazy. Okay, because I'm going to be working with the sharks, I wear a protective suit. It's made of stainless steel links. I'm going 40 feet down where you can't get up quickly, and I can't move my legs with a guide who's wearing a metal suit, and I'm not. Not gonna lie, I am a little nervous, but I'm super excited for him. Just do a little bit of a wrap around so that the channel stays in place. I hope I have the opportunity to touch a shark. Okay, everyone's suited up. Remember, everybody, safety and communication is premier. You got it. Christina goes first to draw the sharks to her, and here we go. There goes Will. And Team Marie. One, two, three. Oh, God, you got the one You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Let's go in. This isn't a pool. Let's get splashed in the face with some water. Here we go. Let's go. So, final surprise for Heather and for me, I have no idea they've got an underwater camera filming the whole thing live. So cool. Is he equalizing pressure? Oh, okay, I think so. Hey, divers, this is surface. How's it looking down there, guys? <laughs> hey, copy that, man. Copy that. Awesome, man. Yes! That's so awesome, man. His feet are on the floor. floor. You're looking good, bud. What do you say? Something like the moon landing. <laughs> I guess now we wait for Christina to bring in the sharks. Is that her? It looks like it. Gift to be able to see how finding the joy in the 
each day and being humorous, but especially the acts of kindness. You can still go out and do good in the world and be so loving through challenging times. Center, Ocean Reef, Christina Zanato, the mother of sharks, and Tina Marie and Jim over at DiveHard.org who made all of this possible. Huge thank you to you guys. What an adventure, sir. I agree. Random Max on three. One, One two, two, three. Random Max! Wait a minute. Where's Heather and Emily? Random Max. <laughs> Helm, may I have your attention? It is a boat time that you subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? Also, we are lost at sea, so I'm going to radio for help. Good, good idea, good idea. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard? No! They won't answer! <laughs> we are sinking! 